I, I don't get me wrong. I, my children have done some great things, but to see a, some, I, if she would have gotten scared and ran off, nobody would have blamed. Would have tried. But she somehow she knew, and I get emotional when I talk about it every yeah. time. Yeah. Somehow she knew if she didn't do it right, it was gonna fuck us up. Wow. The confidence she showed gave us confidence that if going. it fucked up. Because what could have happened was every artist would have thought, damn, what if it happened to me? Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Okay, so Super Bowl. Yeah. Say you get... Um, Hypothetical. Hypothetically. Mm-hmm. Or speaking futuristically, you get um, invited to do the halftime show. Right. And that's all yours. Who would you bring on the show with you? What songs would you perform? I, I, I got it. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When these these are the type of situations, these kind of things have arisen before in in my life, right? I've been given very very big opportunities wow. in life, and we've always tried to figure out who are we, who do we right. share this blessing with, right? I, I got to bring in this. If, if that, I can't ask her. I know she probably backed up like, oh my God. I know she backed up like, please don't say me. Please don't say me. But that would, that would definitely be a group decision. That would definitely wow. be a group decision. Ms. Freeman, yeah. who, if Bumby gets to do this, let's say the Super Bowl come to Houston, right? They give me the Super Bowl like they gave it to Dre in LA, right? They saw what I did with the rodeo, how I've curated right. the rodeo, exactly. right? They're like, okay, you you've been able to fill, give an entertaining show in this stadium before, right? What part of that show would you present, or what would you create for this show, Miss Freeman? Who we bring it to the Super Bowl? <laughs> Look, okay. Kiki, we bring that's a, my boy. <laughs> see, see, that's biased. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. That's Why is that bias? Because Lil Kiki is her favorite rapper. That's my Aww. boy. Lil you, Kiki he is gave her you a hell of a rapper. shout out too. When we, was, we, we came, and I'm going to say this, we came up the day after y'all performed at the rodeo and interviewed Lil Kiki, mm-hmm. and boy, it was going down. We talked to him. He was so, you know, Excited he, he showed you so much love. He was probably still on a high. He was. Point, too. He reached out, and he could have he could have done something and made it all about him, and he gave an opportunity for the city came out, man. Yeah, that's like dope. crazy. So who all performed? You, Bun? Me, Slim, Slim. Bun, Zero, Willie D, Flip, Pokey, Power Wow, Latoya Lucky. Um, Y'all shut that up. H Town. H Town performed. Knocking the Boots. Yeah. Psh, Lele. Mm. Um, ESG. Um, wow. They brought them out. 70,000 is that. I'm going to be a boy. I'm going to tell you. Baby Bash. Nigga, I'm going to talk bad to that nigga when I see him. He wrong for that, man. Bun can bring anybody out. That that took us, what, about a week, Queenie, to really actually come Come off off of it. it. I know. Because it had never happened like that before. It had never happened. And up until Showtime, we didn't even think it was going to happen. Wow. It's the worst sound check I've ever been a part of. And not not like the rodeo didn't have this shit together. We had so many moving parts. I had so many performers that night. They had never had to mic up that many people. Oh, that's the first time they had anything that's like what, that. That's what know? I was saying when I, I asked Kiki. I, I was down on my same day. Something like that. They normally had a Peter Pablo, the little, I yeah. mean, you know, like a uh, uh, flow rider. You know, Carter B Carter can't B. do. They had Carter B, but they don't have no no gangster rap, nothing of that magnitude, you know. So it was beautiful, you know. Mm. They they was on your ass, though. They say Bun kind of opened it up for everybody. Just he did. It just... was Bun's show. Wow. Mm-hmm. So that alone took like two and a half hours. Wow. And then just to get everybody's mic level and all of that, then we had to go up and start performing the music. Every run through didn't go through perfect. So at the end of a like, I would say four and a half hour sound check, we had we had nothing concrete to tell us this shit was gonna work in front of people. Wow, that, and I never would have knew because it came off so good. And but if you and if, but if you were in the room that night, okay, the first performer to come out was Lele, okay, mm-hmm. right, a preteen, right, the youngest performer of the group came and out her first. Son, came out first, and her sound went out, <sighs> and she kept going. That's. She That's pushed me. through. We all got nervous and anxious for her, and she just she did what she was supposed to do. Fucking performance. She got she in. She did what she was supposed to do. 
I had never been more proud, proud, proud of a child her. in my life. I, I don't get me wrong. I, my children have done some great things, but to see a, some, I, if she would have gotten scared and ran off, nobody would have blamed. Would have tried. But she, she somehow she knew, and I get emotional when I talk about it every yeah. time. Yeah. Somehow she knew if she didn't do it right, it was gonna fuck us up. Wow. The confidence she showed gave us confidence that if going. it fucked up. Because what could have happened was every artist would have thought, damn, what if it happened to me? That shit might happen during mm -hmm. my show. Now you go into it nervous. Yeah, yeah. But she went through it like a motherfucking G. And so we was like, shit, if she can go through it, if the sound fuck up, we got to go, go, go through it. We the pros. We the OGs. Mm -hmm. It set the whole tone for the night. Man. Everybody walked out like, I got to wreck this hoe. And they did. Mm -hmm. It's still, and it, it took days. Every morning we wake up and people would text us, man, I can't believe what I saw. And then it hit YouTube, like on that oh, second man, day. I seen it. And we saw it because we was in the, we on the stage. Yeah, 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 y'all can it's see It's totally it. different when you see it on YouTube. We saw it how they saw it. And I like, I like Bluetooth it like from the laptop to the TV. TV. Hell so yeah. we like made drinks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> celebrate. We went like we would go to a concert. concert right. We sat down, we made drinks. I rolled up a couple squares. And, and we sat there and watched it and we were like, my God, no, look at this it. room. Man. And when them slabs came out, then people started screaming. Man. And we then we like call it. other people. We call Kiki. You all right? Man, bro, I still can't believe it, man. I just mm -hmm. saw this. Man, did you see what they did when this... And then you call ESG. He you will you call it. Slim. That's his everybody. Right. You call everybody, and everybody's like, man, I can't believe we did this. Everybody I interview. History. Everybody interview. It it it's still they drive, love it's it, bro. Still yes. a lot they love it, man. Listen, man. It's the 50th year of hip hop, and nobody is celebrating us. And that's, that's cool man. because we are ready. We celebrate our mother. Self. Self. Man, I see that in you too. That is that my big thing. Yes. Like that's I be like the South. They that. just don't. They don't give us the kudos a lot of time. The country rap tune thing. I respect because all of look, it. for the rodeo. I was like, we can go get this person and that person. And that queen is like, no, no. We can just get Houston. I love that. Them people going. Them people gonna love to see Houston. Yes. Be. After all, she couldn't yes. have been more, more correct. right. We got to get you out of here. I want to talk about. Uh, the Trill Burger. Uh, I want to ask you. That's what you want to ask, man. Okay, Don't I want to ask you a specific ask. question about. And take your how, time. How do you, how do you, how do you, <laughs> how do you think <laughs> Pilt would feel about Trill Burger? I got to I ask think that. the only person that eat at Trill Burgers more than my wife <laughs> would be Chad. <laughs> I, I had to honestly that. believe that he would have sold, he would have felt like a personal stake, even if he had no financial mm -hmm. stake. I think he just would have wanted to see me succeed. Yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.